Welcome to my channel, Holistic Beauty. I'm Empress Queen, your reading, your guide, and I'm here with another pick a car reading title. Do we have a future together? All right, so this is for, it's a love pick a car reading. This is for um, if you're wanting to know if you and the person that you love or have in mind has a future together. This is more based on relationships, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it's just someone you have romantic feelings for. So in this pick a card reading, it's going to talk about the current status between you guys, what's their feelings versus your feelings, what's blocking y'all connection, a message from spirit about y'all connection, and yes or no and why. Um, so enjoy. There's going to be seven piles. Also, I've reached a thousand subscribers. So as promised, for those of you who have donated to my channel, I have did a raffle. Um, and the person that has won is Eden. <coughs> so Eden, if you're watching this, which is ironic, I'm going to go ahead and email you to schedule a time and talk about the subject that you're wanting to know. It's gonna be 30 minutes for free. That is a $90 value package. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you for all those who have donated to my channel. If you couldn't donate, it's okay. If you said a prayer to me, thank you. Blessings right back to you guys. I am going to do one again, um, probably starting in April. Or when I reach to 2,000, I'll do another one. Okay, guys. Um, anywho, thank you so much for sharing, liking, and subscribing to my channel. So sharing, liking my videos, and subscribing to my channels. I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's been a long day at work. Lots of learning, and my brain is a little scrambled. However, on the way home, I was thinking that I should do a pick a car reading. So tonight you know I have stuff to do but I really don't feel like doing it and I want to focus on giving some more guidance in you guys love life so here goes at it so we're gonna start all right so I'm gonna turn it over like this sorry if my fingers are in the way so here's the seven piles if you want you can pause the video and choose the number that is sticking out to you if this is about more than one person please take a deep breath think about one person at a time and pick a number okay that way you know if it is resonating for who you're thinking of if the same number comes up for the same person it's fine take what resonates this is timeless all right, so we're going to get started. Let me go ahead and put this down. I can't wait for things to get set up. I'm still waiting for my furniture, you guys. So hold on. The only thing I have is like my bedroom stuff. So. Ugh, I'm so agitated. So. But it'll get better because then I'll have my little desk and things will be set up a lot better. It's been a while. So we're going to go ahead and get started with pile one. Pile one. Okay, I'm going to lay the cards out first. way I have some room and I'll be able to tell what's going on uh oh sorry you guys thanks for being so patient with me hold on oh crap see I didn't want to do it long way because the long way was annoying me let me try to sorry there we go. There we go. All right. So, Paul, one people. It says the current status is 
breakup. We are through. I don't want it to be this. Sorry, I'm reading it all retarded. Okay, sorry, I don't mean to say the word retarded. Let me go again. Breakup. We are through. I don't want it to be this way, but it is what it is. So you, for those of you who pick pile one, you and this person is currently breaking up, broken up, or you're about to break up, or you just broke up, okay? All right. So currently how they feel, how you feel about the person. Turning on your, turning on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on the time when you experience love. So right now, for those of you who picked pile one, you're sad about the breakup, but not really. Um, you're, you, the breakup is more all in your head. So right now, you're more focused on the thought of it, reflecting what went wrong, what went right, trying to accept what happened. Um... It's either you've already cried about the breakup, so you might have been broken up for a long time, or you haven't cried yet, but you're in this energy of reflecting and thinking about the good and the bad times. And you're allowing this situation to flow into the universe hand. You're trying not to put too much control in it, and you're trying to reflect where you went wrong and what you could have done better. How's this person currently feeling about you? The unity of the heart. There's a connection of love that defiles, defies explanations. All right, so this person, this is my two of cups in this deck. So this person is, is feeling that you guys are still connected. This person feels like there is a deep connection between y'all that is hard to explain. Um, so you might not be talking to this person. I don't feel that you guys are even talking to each other. Um, but you're not so much in an emotional state as this person is. They're more in their emotions. And they're focusing on the actual love that you guys have. The connection, the chemistry, um, they're, they're more focused on the love. It's not that you don't love this person. It's just you're being more analytical. They're being more emotional about the breakup. By the way, I am burning this incense. It is a chakra incense for, sorry, crown chakra incense. It's called lotus. So crown chakra incense helps with unity, enlightenment, and meditation. So I thought of burning that one so... It could be some enlightening. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. Again, I am a little tired. So please excuse if I'm jumbling or not making sense. But I just, it's crazy because in your energy, I feel this sense of calmness. And it's, I can feel like a cool wind just blowing. And you're just closing your eyes and reflecting. You're very calm about the breakup. This person is not crying about the breakup either, but they're like missing you. It's a sense of... It's a hurt, but they're not crying. They're going on with their life. They're doing day-to-day -day things, but they're missing you. You're, you're just reflecting, and you're hoping that things will work itself out. Um, so I'm not going to read the message from Spirit, but um, I want to see what is blocking um, this connection. Progress, not perfection. Do not compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus on how far you came and all that you've learned. So what's blocking y'all connection is people interfering with your business or you or them telling people your business. I don't know why I get that, but I feel like there's a lot of gossiping around you and this person's connection. Um, I feel like maybe that's why you're silent because you're trying to figure out is you're you're trying to silence everything out so you can see through the confusion versus this person is just wanting the situation to come back. So they they might somebody might have told you something that they have done or something that they have done doesn't seem right and or you might be focused on 
you know, some progress that's not going on in your relationship or wanting the relationship to progress in another state or another state, go higher and it's not there yet and you're focused on what's wrong. So there's a lot of negative things around the connection versus your connection is is good, but it's outside forces or something that's not progressing is causing the block. All right, so what is a message that spirit has for you about this connection. It says, make a decision. Love is a choice. Everything has a choice. You need to choose. You have a choice in the matter. Excuse the dribble, travel. You have a choice in the matter. And I feel like the way the energy feels, it is your choice. You have a choice to listen to the gossip. And I feel like you're doing the right thing by taking your time out and really listening into your inner voice and analyzing everything. Instead of running with what, whatever someone's telling you or what things might seem versus what they are. Or I think it's good that you are analyzing things instead of, you know, pushing something that it's not ready for in this connection yet. So definitely right here, there's some type of block on an outside force and I feel like you're doing the right thing. Sorry, my hands are itching good. I need some money. All right, so what's the next card? This one is what are some good things that's in your relationship? What is good about this relationship and what's coming to pass in this relationship? So the good thing about this relationship is overall you do guys make each other happy. Um if you didn't have all this outside interference or all this gossiping or if you wasn't so focused on what your relationship should be like, you guys would be pretty happy with each other. Um, what's coming next is a solid foundation or something new. Um, it's planting a new seed, whether you decide to stay with this person or you decide to go on, you know that you'll be fine. Prosperity is coming, a new beginning, a new level of something is coming, a new foundation. So you might be moving or this person might move in. If they don't live with you already, they will move in. If it's not the case, then you'll be moving out or you'll be moving on your own. But you're moving or they're moving. So there's a move going in this. It says, it's up to you. Life is hard enough. They make your life complicated. But if it's what you want, you will reap it. So, again, the universe is telling you it's your choice to deal with this person or not. Um, it's not It's not that this relationship is bad or there's a lot of negativity around it. The thing is, is that... Oh, sorry, my chiboggin fell off. There we go, because my hair is a mess. It's cold. It rained yesterday. And mm -mm. anyways, so it's not that this is a bad relationship. It's people gossiping and it, it take what resonates. It could be people gossiping or you are focused on, well, we need, we should have been married this time, but we're not married yet. And I want to be married or we should have been moved in with each other or, you know, he has this amount of kids or he is in this religion or he's too dark, he's too light, he's from another country. Like you're, there's a worry of what everybody else thinks and what everybody else has going on, but what is actually going on. And it's that you guys have a good relationship. Your relationship is not bad. And I feel like this person, in a sense, already knows that. This is why they love you. And to them, they're not focused on all the outside interference. They're focused on the connection. You, on the other hand, is focused more on the outside thing, but it's good because you're in an energy now where you're reflecting and trying to focus. If you get on the level like this person, y'all relationship would be fine. But again, this, the universe is telling you it's up to you. It's your choice. It's not a bad relationship. So y'all have a future if you choose to allow the future to happen. Don't rush anything and don't worry about gossiping. It's just gossip unless there's a fact. All right, so pile two. Tile two people 
How y'all doing today, pile two? Do you and this person have a future together? Well, there's a lot of feelings going on in this card because it had me pull a lot of feelings. So let's see, pile two people. It says, right now, y'all current status is a passionate desire. It's crazy how we met. You across the room, you was across the room staring at me. Our chemistry is strong. So you and this person that you have in mind um, met in a very crazy way. Um, there was a lot of eye contact, a lot of chemistry. You know, they can just feel you pulling them, you pulling them, you can feel them. And right now y'all are in an area of desire for each other. And the current status is what you're both sharing, by the way. It's not just you, it's not just them, it's both of y'all. Y'all both are sharing this desire, this passion between y'all, whether it's known or not. Because sometimes we don't always know. Everybody doesn't display their feelings all the time of what they're feeling. Um, so if you didn't know that this person is passionately desiring you, they are. So let's see how you feel about this person. Okay, so spending quality time with each other and back to what you love. So you're wanting to spend time with them. And there was something that pulled you maybe away or there's something that got in the way with y'all spending time with each other and you're desiring this. You're desiring to spend time with them and you're wanting to get back to spending time with them. So there's something that blocked you guys from spending time and that's what you're currently feeling. Let's see how they're feeling about you. See, act as if your partner is here. So there's some distance between you both. And there's a desire to be together, the both of you. They look at you as a new potential lover. They look at you as a new love, not a new sex, not a new friend, a new love. But there's a distance. And I mean, when I say distance, there's a physical distance between you guys. And both of you miss each other. You're wanting to be around each other. This person is conducting themselves as if you are there because they already can tell that you could be a good lover and a partner for them if you haven't been in a relationship already. Now, if you're currently in a relationship, they miss you. You're their new love. Um, um, I feel like this person, somebody had to do a travel or something for business or focus on other things. Maybe they're in theater or art, maybe they act or something, but there's a distance between y'all. Or maybe you had to travel and go to wait for work. But somebody had to travel and leave for a while or take a break. Um, something dealing with work, though. Or something that needed to get done. Or, you know, maybe it's a space on some type of priority. It's not space in a breakup. Um, but there's a lot of passion and love. So what is... This is supposed to be over here. Sorry. What is blocking this connection? Deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experience. You are willing to desire, you are, you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. So I feel like whatever, I feel like the block is the distance. That's what I feel. And the distance was needed for some type of deep healing. Whether it's focusing on work, whether it's focusing on school, whether it's focusing on some type of obligation or yourself, there was some healing that needed to take place or there is some healing that needs to take place. And so I feel like this, this healing is meant to be and it needs to be there because there's so much desire and this person is focusing on loving you. So it's probably good that you are getting some form of healing or you guys are both healing or they're healing. So a message from the universe, walk in silence. So the universe is telling you to walk in silence. Listen to your heart and you will never go wrong. Wrong. P.S. It will be okay. So I feel like what the universe is telling you is take your healing, do what you need to do, do your obligations, do what you need to do, but walk in silence. Don't let everyone know what's going on in this connection. Um... It's nothing wrong if you pursue this person because you both 
mirror each other's passion. I feel like you need to keep this as a secret. I don't know why, but this relationship doesn't need to be known by everybody until you guys can physically be together. Until everything works out and you guys are able to be in a more consistence, then everybody should know. I think like that's why it's telling you to walk in silence. There's something where you don't need to be telling everybody, oh, I met this guy, I met this girl. Oh, this person is amazing. No, right now it's not need to be said. It needs to be kept silent while you do what you need to do. And once you're able to get back to them or you guys connect, then you can feel comfortable to tell everybody. But because I feel like whoever is around you, they may not approve of this connection or they might be negative Nancy or hating Joe. They always got something to say. Oh, that person, this, this, this. And you don't want that energy because you're healing. Or maybe you've been through a lot of bad relationships before. And, you know, people might put their negative spill in there. And you need to just be silent with it. And trust your heart. Because you know that there's something good going on between you and this person. You can feel it. Okay, so that's what the universe is telling you. All right, so what's good, good, going good for your relationship? All right, so there's going to be a clear communication, cutting away a lot of negative energy. This person is going to restore your, your, your trust and vision and love. Um, I feel like that silence is good. It's like a new clarity, a new beginning in the mental process. It's going to cut away a lot of confusion that's going on. So this relationship is surrounded, I wouldn't say by confusion, but I feel like there's many options or there's a lot of directions you can go or there's a lot of, you don't know which way to go or you don't know what to do or there's a lot of, you're very uh, busy or have a lot of obligations. Maybe you take care of a lot of your family members or they take care of a lot of their family members. There's a lot of kids involved. But there's going to be a clear-cut communication on how to make everything fall into place. Whether you guys are in a long-distance relationship, because that could be what it is too, you're going to find a way to get together. You're going to find a way to put this relationship into play. Both of you are. But in the meantime, move in silence. Okay? All right. So will y'all be together? Yes. But it will require work. Acts and you shall receive. So, yes, you will have a future together. It will require some work. Hence, coming up with a clear idea to bring everything together so your relationship will be less confusing. And what I mean by confusing, because of the distance, trying to fit everything in. Maybe you guys have a lot of kids. They got a lot of kids. But something is going to require y'all to bring your worlds together instead of apart. And there's a, that's what's coming in the near future. So, it's good that you guys have all. It's good that you guys are you know, all over the place because once you have this clear vision of how you want it to be and coming together, it will cause a really good bond and unity. So yes, it's going to require work, but yes, you guys will be together. There is a future pile too. By the way, I am using this incense. It's, for lo it's the Lotus for the crown chakra. All right. So awesome pile two, pile three people, pile threeers. I can't really see. Okay. Sorry, I just couldn't see the numbers unless I move in front. So pile three, what is going on? How are y'all doing today? All righty. So pile three, let's see you guys' current status with this person apart, missing you. If you only knew how much I love you. And then, so you guys pile three people and it's funny. Because I heard the song the moment I picked up the cards. And I didn't know that this was the actual one behind there. But I want you to please look this song up. It's called Don't Ask My Neighbors. It's an old 70s song by The Emotions. It's an old black group. And when I wrote this, I heard this song out of the blue. And I, I, I had to, you don't understand the intense YouTube search I had to do to find this song because I probably heard it briefly as a kid and for me to remember I'm like I know I heard it but what is she even saying I didn't even know what she was saying 
or they were saying. I didn't even know it was a female group. That's how much this song resonates with you guys. So please look up this song. Don't ask my neighbor by the emotions. Because when I found it and I clicked it and I heard it, I said, oh my gosh. It, the song, I didn't really listen to it long, but pretty much the, the girls were singing. They were saying, come to me. You know, if you're interested, in come, in, come to me. See what's going on with me. Don't ask everyone. I, I really do love you. I want you. Come to me. So they want whoever this is that you're asking about. Your current status is that you guys are apart for whatever X, Y reasons you could be breaking up or breaking up, broken up. You've been apart for a while. You're not in a relationship with this person, but they're wanting to, you to know that they love you. They really still love you or they love you. You might be going around asking, seeking, stalking them on social media. And they know that. They're saying, you ain't got to do all that. Just come to me. Some of you guys, for a brief some of you, this could be involving a crush for some reason. And I know it says, I miss you in a part. But this person, could they know that you're watching them. They know that you're snooping. And they're saying, don't do all of that. Don't ask my friends. Don't come to me. Because... I have feelings for you, too, as well, if you only just ask me. So that's for those of you who picked pile three. How are you feeling about this person? Rest and relaxation is essential. We have a fundamental need to take a break. So right now, you're resting. You're taking a break. You guys are apart. Um, they're, you're taking a break from that connection, that energy. At the same time, even though you're resting from this connection... And it's funny because what f sticks out to me is this woman is actually sleeping. So it's like the four swords are healing. This relationship might have been something that was draining. But you know what? Even though you are resting, you love this person and I could feel it. You love them. And I think that is what's the problem. I feel like that's where you need rest because you ever had that feeling? <laughs> okay, I've had this. Where you overly think, you're you're thinking about something so much, or you get so stressed out that you just want to go to sleep. That's you. That's that's what you're going through when you think about this connection. You'll think about it and think about it, and you get confused because you know what happened, what might have transpired. But then you're like, dang, I still love them. And then you get confused, and then you miss them. But then you don't want to be with them, but you do want to be with them. And then you just get tired and you go, you know what? I don't even want to think about it. And you just get rest from it. So you're a little exhausted from the energy. This connection pulls a lot of energy from you. Um, so how are they feeling about you? You're limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to. Let me see here. I'm trying to see if something is sticking out in this card to me. Both of you are resting from this connection. This person is resting too, but they're resting in a different way. You're asleep from stress. <laughs> Your anxiety is up about this relationship and you don't know what to do. You're confused, you don't know what to do. Sorry, my hands have been itching. You don't know what to do. Versus this person is resting, they're calm. And they're more so trying to just let life happen. And I feel like they're telepathically trying to communicate with you or spiritually trying to communicate to you. So you might dream about this person. And this is part of the reason why you can't let them go. And you might be wondering, okay, why can't I let them go? Or, you know, whatever. It's because this person is not letting you go. And they look at you guys' relationship as limitless. Like you almost like their soulmate. And they feel like in due time we'll be together again. They constantly think about you too, but they don't get overwhelmed when they think about you. They kind of like, oh, I really love that person. I'll just let it be in due time. It's like they're calm about it. You're more like, oh my gosh, I love this person. This is what happened. I'm, I'm just going to go to bed. I don't even want to think about it. And so you guys are both resting just in two different ways. Okay. 
All right, so let's see what's blocking this connection. Make time for your self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. Healthy communication in a relationship. Heart-to-heart -heart discussion and clear, assertive communication helps you to understand and be understood. So, this is what needs to be done. You guys need to have a clear communication. You guys are not talking, obviously. You're apart. You're both resting. You don't even want to face it right now. This person is just allowing you to blow away as they still love you and just hoping you return to them. So you guys are not even talking. You're not even expressing your feelings. You're not being assertive. If this person will say, hey, look, I still love you. I want to be with you. What can it take to work? And if you say, just stop having anxiety over it and say, you know, I still love you, but this is what you've done. You guys are not even talking about it. You're not facing the issues. You guys are all in your head because you're resting. Rest is in the mind. When you go to sleep at night, your body shuts down and you're healing yourself. But the only thing that's running is the mind. Your mind is the only thing that stays running. Besides, you know, your um, involuntary muscles. Um, you know, if you get into the medical term, involuntary muscles is the ones that move without you commanding it to move like your heart. You know what I'm saying? Um... Is it only, I think your heart is involuntary. What else is an involuntary muscle? I think your your eyes is not a muscle. I, okay, well, let's just stick to the heart. Your lungs, because it moves. So things that move without you having a reason to, it's involuntary. So your mind is not a muscle, it's a piece of fat, believe it or not. And your mind constantly runs this is what you guys are doing. You're all in your mind. None of you, both of you are not facing your emotions about this connection. And both of you still love each other. Both of you miss each other, but you're stuck in the mind. And so a healthy communication is needed. Assertive. That means speaking, saying what you need, not in a mean, nasty way or a demanding way, but just being firm, sticking to your feelings and your thoughts. And another reason is the universe is blocking this because both of you need time to take care of yourself. You guys had a lot of things going on in y'all connection. That, especially you, you need time to take care of yourself. You're exhausted. This connection has drained your energy a lot. I don't think you understand that. This person's energy is not drained. Yours is. You're emotionally drained. I think that is why you cannot give any more emotions because you've given so much. This person, on the other hand, might have not given that much emotions. So their emotions is locked in their head. I think that's how they are consistently. So let's see a message from Spirit. Look at that. Spirit is waiting on your command. It says, never be afraid to ask for love. I said, from Jesus, I'm tired. <laughs> never be afraid to ask for love i'm here listening to your heart open up to me this is what the universe god is saying to you your angel your guide they're waiting for your command but you get so overwhelmed and you rather worry and focus on all the negative you might have some anxiety that self-care faith some healing needs to be done just relax yourself it's good that you're taking a rest, but you know what? Take all that running around in your mind and utter it out into the universe and put it in God's hands. Talk to God. If you know, talk to Jesus, talk to Allah, talk to you know, whatever you worship. Talk to your angel, talk to your God, talk to your ancestors. Let it all out. State what you want. It still comes back to this communication. Being assertive. This is what I want. If you want this person back, state it to the universe. That means there's an angel. God is in command, waiting for your command so that they can get this relationship back together. Now, always, when you make a command and you pray, think about it first. 
Be careful what you ask for because you shall receive it. And sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. Sometimes you can ask for stuff and you don't get it and then you see why because it wasn't good for you and it would just only destroy you. But sometimes you ask for stuff, you get it, and then you have to learn. So just not saying this is this is the case, but just a warning because I've been through it and I wouldn't want anyone else to go through it. So just make sure this person loves you, you love them. I feel like they've drained you a lot. So just be careful. You know, I don't know the whole situation. This is general. So maybe you want something private with me or another reader before you go and ask God or the angels or probably pray to God, make your request clear, assertive, but not aggressive. In other words, um, you know, help me, you know, I want this person back, you know, give this person back to me. Instead of doing that, say, you know what, God, I love this person or universe or angels or guides. I love this person and I release the situation to you. Do what is best for me. That way you give spirit an open in, in, in invitation to assist you. You're still being assertive, but you're not trying to control things. And it doesn't backfire you. It will always work out the best way when you allow spirit to work it out versus you forcing what you feel is right. Because remember, we're in the physical. We can't see everything. Even me as a psychic in my own personal life, I don't see everything. You can't see everything. Even the psychics that give you readings, we can see things. We can give you guidance, but we cannot see everything because we are in our physical body. Now, spiritual, like God and angels and guides, they're infinite. They're timeless. So they know the future, they know the past, and they know the present. That's why you have to allow spirits to come in and work its magic. It is hard to do, trust me, I'm still learning every day, every day, every day with a lot of different areas in my life. But I just don't know why, but pile three, I had to share it to you because it talks about asking. And that's a very dangerous thing to force something. That is why I don't get into love spells on a person, like Making it particular because it can backfire on you. Because you don't know what this person was supposed to do in this life for you. But if you allow spirit, you allow God, you allow your angels to guide you or to move in that area, it work out so much better for you. You don't understand how much stress we, because I'm involved, because I done been through some shit, okay? We can cut out if we just relax and allow spirit to do its work and I feel like that is coming up from the bottom of my heart so you guys at pick pile three you needed to know that okay all right so what's coming up for this connection reconciliation so you guys are going to get back together but I still feel a sense of warning so don't rush it there's a lot of healing that needs to go on because there's an imbalance between you guys. I can feel it. I don't know what's in this other card. It might talk about imbalances. I did write down something about imbalance. It might be, might not be. But I don't really, I write words and scramble them around. I tell y'all this all the time. So it might be under this next card, but I do feel a sense that you have given more than this person. And this is why they're not exhausted. So just really think long and hard. Do I want this person back? If you don't, then don't. But there's still some communication that needs to go on. Whether it's you in spirit or you in this person, something. But the resting and the, the, the just not wanting to face it can't keep going on it's blocking you and it's blocking this connection because you still love this person but there's a reconciliation that's still going to happen between you guys whether it's reconciliating to a sense of peace or reconciliating the connection okay so that's something that's coming up and that's good that's going to happen between you two so yes or no yes 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 love is in the air there's a strong bond between y'all and it will not be broken. So you and this person 
have a strong bond. I think that's another reason why you guys can be in your head because you guys are spiritually connected because your spirit, we all are mentally connected where this is where our crown is, our crown chakra is connected spirit. Our mind, we only use 10% of our brain. The 90% is that, that connection between all of us. And they're saying if you use any of over that, you don't know how much we can do. Because then you become limitless. Like this card. Now this person, I tell you one thing I could tell you about this person. They're more relaxed and more aware. Due to the fact, not that they're more spiritual than you. But it's because they are not as emotional. And they're more mental and they have not drained themselves. I still feel like balance needs to be done. So when you and this person gets back together, there needs to be communication and there needs to be balance. Balance. Don't give what they're not giving. They give 50, you give 50. And if, they're, if you're giving 50 and they're not giving 50, say, hey, look, I need 50 or I'm dropping down to zero. Don't even say it. Sometimes all of this ain't even matter. You might want them, look, I feel like you're not giving that 50. You're not, okay, 25? Well, that's what you're going to get, 25. There's, you need to match their energy. You're giving too much, okay? All right, pile three, that was beautiful. I'm glad. I hope that really helped you guys. We're moving on to pile four. Pile three, you was a long one. I think you guys needed that. All right, so pile four people. Sorry, I didn't mean to smack. <laughs> My mouth is a little dry. I'm thirsty. Pile four, pile four, pile four. I just have this zest of energy. I feel like you guys really want to know, is this going to work? Do I need to move on? Do I need to hold on? Do I need to let go? My hand has been itching out the frame. This hand right here means I'm going to get it, but I'm going to spin it, but it's okay. Um, this, um, this person that you are dealing with, people that's still in file four, I feel like you have come to a point where you just want to know, should I stay or should I go? Um, you, you're just at the end of your rope. I, I don't even know what to do. Should I stay or should I go? I just need to know where to go. Point me in the direction. You love this person, but you don't feel like he can continue to do whatever you're doing. Don't know why I got that energy, but I did. But let's see what your current status is. Some peace now. We have been through a lot together. I'm ready for us to be at peace. I love you. So right now, you guys are about to flow into some peace. That could be why you feel tired. You're just like, bump it. I'm not going to be miserable. I'm not going to waste my life being miserable. And that's how you're feeling right now. You're going on to a peace, the six of sword energy, moving to calmer waters. You're not focusing on the fuck shit no more. Excuse my language. You're not. You're not, you're not doing it. You're just not wanting to be unhappy anymore. Is that you, Mari? Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Is somebody knocking? Okay, so, anywho. So, let's see how you feel about this person. Action speaks louder than words. Express your love through your actions. I need more clarity on that. So, let's see how they feel about you. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow, to find love. A lot of blue that sticks out here in this connection <laughs> I'm hearing there's a lot of talk no action I need you to put some work in it that's what the problem is the blue stuck out to me and then I heard throat chakra throat chakra over the after oh. so he or she is talking but they ain't doing no walking in other words something they keep promising, but they're not doing. And you're like, you know what? I had enough. Some of y'all are singing, 
to the left, to the left. Mm, somebody is about to let you listen. Pile four, y'all is not playing. Some of y'all are really thinking, I'm ready for you to pack your shit and get the fuck out. Or I'm tired of you. I'm tired of dealing with you. I'm done with this shit if you don't do what I say. If you don't do what you say, I'm done. Like, there's something that you have been waiting for and this person has not done. And some of you might have already walked away. Now, this person is sitting here. You done made your request be known. You done show their ass. I'm not playing with you. So some of you might have walked away or you're giving this person silent treatment. But you're showing them you're not playing. And this person is now reflecting. Dang, I really don't want to lose them. We do have some good times. Oh, I guess I got to put the work in. guess I got to do what I need to do. I don't want to go to the left, to the right, right back in the house. I don't want to do this. Like, I don't want to lose them. I need to do more. I need. They're starting to listen. And they're starting to gather what you're saying. Because they don't want their shit to the left. Okay. So, what's blocking this connection? Give it to God. Take a deep breath and... And exhale. Release the situation to God for help and answers. So, although, I feel like a lesson had to be done here. It's happening for a reason, guys. So, yeah, this person didn't commit. Or they didn't do this. They ain't doing that. Or they wasn't doing this. But you know what? This person needs that. And now they're in a moment of reflecting and realizing how much more they love you, how much more they don't want to lose you, how much more they care. So this is what they need. In the meantime, it's like it's a form of the universe wanting you to give it to them. Trying to enhance your faith, trying to enhance the communication. For you to trust in your intuitions. For you to trust in spirit. For you to trust in love. They're asking you for trust. And, it, and it's, it's coming as a life lesson in a sense. So it's all about you guys learning. So what is it that spirit wants to tell you? Change is coming. Don't allow them to push you around. Speak up. Be assertive. So, if you haven't been assertive, be assertive. Speak up. Maybe you move in a silent way. Maybe you're passive aggressive. Maybe they don't do what you want and just give them the silent treatment and you don't talk to them instead of saying, hey, look, this is what I want. Maybe you've done this already. And it's saying now that you've done this, now that you've spoken up and be assertive, change is coming. They're going to change. I told you. You're coming to a peaceful water. Because guess what? This person ain't trying to lose you. For the most part. Give the situation to God. Okay? Give it to whoever you worship. Give it to the universe. Give it to spirit. It's time to match your talk with actions. Definitely so. But you got to show this person too. Okay? Okay? So what's coming next? What's good about this relationship? What's coming next? Positive moving forward. You're sailing forward. You're coming out of this energy of not talking, of, you know, probably having to ignore them or not dealing with them, you know, or you having to step back so they can appreciate you. You're going to come out of this energy. So yes or no? It's hard to say. Be careful. Evaluate evaluation is needed with this relationship something is not sound okay so it's hard to say if you guys have a future together but it is saying that there is a positive moving forward so whatever current status you guys are in you guys are moving out of it but the main thing you need to know that you need to give this situation to Whatever spiritual thing you serve and worship and pray to. 
You need to let the universe, spirit, God in to guide you so the peace can come, so the positive moving forward can come. You're not allowing it. Instead, you might be acting a fool. You're either overly aggressive, not aggressive enough, excuse me, not talking enough. So there is something where you're not putting in action as well up for yourself. But you're showing it. The, 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 the communication is not sound. In other words, I'm trying to find the right words. There was a point in time. It, it's so many different because this is general. It could be one point in time you were allowing stuff to go a certain way. And then you finally stuck up for yourself. And now this person is realizing how much they miss you. Or you're being passive aggressive. And this person is realizing that they miss you. But at the same time, is it really getting anywhere if you can't give it to God? Especially if it's something where you want to be married to this person. Or one in the relationship to get better. Or you want them to do something. Well... God should be involved or some type of spiritual aspect or something in the universe. I mean, you wouldn't be here watching a psychic reading if you was an atheist. I can tell you that much. So definitely need that. So that's pile five, putting God first, putting, bringing him in, in. but you guys are going about to go through some positive changes. I feel like speak your mind, stop being passive aggressive, whatever, Things that they're not doing, speak your mind, let them do it, and allow God to come in. You're moving on to peace now, pile four. It's not that bad. You guys are moving on to peace. But just remember that there's something sound. There's a balance that needs to go on here. All right, so pile five. Pile five people. Love begins. It is my, is it me? Or you're getting finer and finer each day. Sorry, you guys. My legs is getting tired. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So this is a new, it says love begins. So you and this person are now reaching a stage of falling in love. I don't know how long you've been together, how long you've known this person, but however the length of time doesn't matter what's going on currently is that love is beginning for the both of you and this person on their end is looking at you you're becoming more and more attractive again and they're feeling like a sense of i love this person i think i could spend the rest of my life with them i i think i could do this like i i, I really like how this is becoming like you're so fine like they find you highly attractive still um, and they feel like you're getting more and more attractive, more and more interesting. Like they can spend their life with you. Okay. So how are you feeling about this person? Love who you are. You are a divine, wonderful person deserving all the wonderful things that life has to offer. So this is how you feel about this person. And how do they feel about you? Receive with love and appreciation. Receive something Lovely from others is a way of showing love. It's a lot of browns, a lot of turquoises in this. Feathers and birds, flying air. Sorry, I'm just looking at the pictures. You know, I feel like this person has more feelings for you than you do this person. Oh, sorry, my hair has been inching. Um, that's not for everyone. This person is very charming. They constantly flatter you. You love that. You love the fact that they love who you are. 
You like the fact that they make you feel attractive. They make you feel good about yourself. They make you feel happy like you're floating on air. They make you feel very good because they tell you how you make them feel. And you might be a person that is happy as long as who you're with is happy, as long as you're making them happy. It makes you happy. So they feel happy to have met you. They feel like it's the fine timing for you to come in their lives. They want to give you a lot. Um, I feel like this person is planning something for you. And each and every moment you guys share, they cherish it. This person may be an air sign too. Air sign with earth. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Could be some, anywhere in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. They have a lot of air and earth. They might be air, you might be earth, or vice versa. You might be an earth, and there might be air, and some of you might be a little bit of water here. I don't see a lot of fire. Definitely water and earth here. So I see a lot of brown mud. And then over here is earth and air. Don't see a lot of fire. It's it's just something that's just calling out to me. A lot of green and blues. But it's a it's a give and take. You're loving what they're giving you, and in return, you're giving them your time and attention, and they're taking it all in. So this person might have had a crush on you. Um and you know it. And you're taking it all in. I, I don't feel like you're cuckoo for Cocoa Pops about them. But you, you have feelings for them. And you just want to know, is this something that I should pursue? Because this person is just, it's just, they're crazy about me and I love it. It's like you like the fact that they're crazy about you. And you're wanting to know, do we have a future? Alright, so what is possibly blocking this connection? My hand is itching Balance of masculine and feminine energy. Allow your feminine side to, to creatively inspire you and your masculine inside to give you confidence. Okay. Let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is spending your, your, sending you important messages and guides. Okay. So... <clears throat> I feel like for some of you, this is a same-sex love connection. Um, and there's a balance that needs to go on here. For some of you, you're a little confused. I feel like this, this connection caught you off guard. Some of you, this is a very, very new connection. And so you haven't had time to fill out your emotions. Some of you might be getting over someone else. Um, that you recently was with. And so what's blocking is, is you. You're, you're really not that into this person as they are into you. And that's because some of you are holding on to the past of someone else. Some of you are too masculine or too feminine and need a balance in your character. Um... And, it's, and I'm just saying, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, you could be too masculine or feminine. Balance is always key in life. You're not, and it's blocking you feeling all your emotions. So you really don't know how you feel about this person yet. You're just loving the fact that they admire you a lot. But you haven't felt your emotions, and most of you are in love with someone else. Some of you, this there's something dealing with same-sex relationships so some of you this person might have feelings for you but you're interested in the same sex and they may be the opposite sex or you're interested in them and they or you might be interest you might be interested 
in the opposite sex and they're interested in the same sex. So I don't know why I got that, but there's so many different scenarios. Take what resonates. So what's good about this connection and what's coming up next? Oh, I almost skipped it. What's the message? Well, spirit never goes wrong. I'm just going to do it. Um, accelerating. Positive moving forward. Communication. You guys are going to have a good communication. If you do decide to take this leap of faith with this connection, it's going to go fast. Um, it's going to accelerate fast. You'll see signs. Okay, so what's good going in this? What message this spirit has to tell you? Ooh. Be careful what you ask for. It's frickled. The love is, the love is thin. Are you sure this is what you want? Because I will give it to you. So spirit is telling you to think about it. It's a frickled relationship. It's something that could be frickled. This love is thin. Are you sure you want it? I feel like it's talking about you, though. I feel like you're frickled about this relationship. You might not be into this person. But if you go for it, you're going to be stuck with it. If you want it, you're going to get it. And the universe is telling you it's what you asked for. So make sure it's this is something you really want. If you're not interested in this person, you need to let them know. Don't go for it because you're lonely or, you know, the fact that they're showing you feelings. You need to have feelings for this person. If you do have feelings for them, then go for it. But just remember, once you take that leap with this person, it's going to be a spider web to get out for some reason. All right. So, number five. Are you going to be with this person? It says nope. Because someone else knew better will come along. It's time for you to be treated right. Okay. So number five, guess what? I know what this is saying. Take what resonates. But I feel like for some of you, this is the new person is talking about. And you're not letting go of that past. And because you're not letting go of the past, you're going to miss out on someone that actually wants you. It's time for you to be treated right. I'm not saying because this person is not just admiring you about sex. This person really loves you and is ready to be supportive and can see the beauty of you inside out. But you're so hung up on this ex. That you can't even see the goodness in this new connection. Now, you know, if you're homosexual and this person is not, then I, that's understanding. You need to let them know and move on. Or if they're a homosexual and you're not a homosexual, you need to let them know and move on. That's, that's understanding. And you like what you like, you like what you like. But... If it's something where you're holding on to an ex that is no good for you and you're holding on to them, you're blocking someone good to come in. And if you're really not into this person, don't force yourself. I, the worst ending relationships always happen to me when I deal with someone who pursues me first versus when I like someone and then I go after them. And, well, I really don't go after people, and it's just me. I'm very shy, but let's say, um, you know, I get to know them, and we end up, it always works out better than when I say, okay, well, they're pursuing me. I'm just going to go, and then it end up being like, damn, I should have just, I knew it. So don't push yourself, guys. If you're not feeling this person like that, I feel like you need to let this person know. So somebody else can come along that's better that matches your needs. Because I feel like that's what that is. All right. All right, pile five. That was good. Pile six. Last but not least. Pile six, you got a lot going on. Oh, shoot. It's not the last one. I got a pile seven. What am I talking about? Ooh, pile six. Will... Y'all have a future together. Is there 
the future together. Getting to know one another. Love is like water. It flows so smoothly. I like our connection. It's easy breezy. So this is your current status. Um, whether you've known each other for a long... Well, when... I shouldn't say know each other because you're getting to know each other. So whether you guys just met today or a long time ago, you're in a stage of getting to know each other. And this person feels as if your connection is smooth. You guys are in a, in, in a time where your connection is smooth and easy breezy. So maybe you're feeling like, okay, this is too good to be true. Or I really like them. They We have a lot in common. So do we have a future? So that's more like how it is. You're just trying to see. You don't want to waste your time. So let's see how you feel about this person. Practicing compassion. Treasure the love of the ones around you. Okay? Treasuring your loved ones. There's some children involved. And then how do they feel about you? Listen to your heart. You're listening to what's being said, but you need to listen with a loving heart. Okay. So I feel like you guys are getting to know each other. And you guys have a lot of communication. You guys talk a lot. Maybe you guys are on the phone for hours. Maybe you text back and forth. Maybe when you spend time with each other, you guys talk a lot. There's a lot of communication going back and forth. Um, you guys talk to each other a lot. Hang out with each other a lot. Spend a lot of time with each other. However, I feel like this, this person is not really hearing all your concerns. See... You might have children, or there might be children involved, or maybe you're pregnant, or there's a pregnancy happening, and you're you're telling this person your concerns, you're telling them how you feel, you're telling them what you're expecting, and they're taking it in, and they're trying to listen to you. They're trying to get a better understanding. I don't feel like either they don't have children or you guys are about to have children or that you're pregnant for them or they're the ones with the children and they might be telling you, you know, they have loved ones and you're trying to think and um, seek in, you know, compassion and understand. But there's definitely a lot of communication and this person is listening and trying to find ways to accommodate your concerns, especially when it comes to children being involved. And you're hoping that they're listening and you're hoping that your chil your children or your child will like them or they treat your child right. So children is very important. And if you're pregnant for them, if they'll be a good father or mother. So everything in this connection is going smooth, but your main concern or how you feel is, children something about children so what's blocking this connection clearing negative energy releasing negative energy with in you and around you some of you guys could be dealing with baby mama issue baby daddy issues very small amount some of you are, are stuck in negative thinking maybe you had a past negative love life but or they did so right now while y'all getting to know each other i feel like this is a period not to be rushed don't rush it don't get all this good feeling and then be like oh we're in love let's just do it no no take your time and get to know each other because while you're doing this the negative is being cleared up preconsumptions is being cleared up and so about time you guys are done getting to know each other you have a clear-cut understanding of what both of you want in an actual relationship. Or you might be, some people rush relationships. So you might be already boyfriend and girlfriends and in a relationship. And now you're getting to know each other. Getting to understand each other. Getting to know each other terms. And so a lot of, because of you guys starting to understand each other, it's clearing away a lot of negative energy. So I feel like until this finished getting cleared up, you guys will 
continue to be in the space of getting to know each other versus being more, you know, unified. So that's just a block and it's a temporary block too. So what message the spirit has to tell you? Blessing in disguise. It is okay to be afraid. We know that they really hurt you. We are aware something good is coming out of this. Just you wait. So this person might have hurt you in the past. This, could, I mean, you know, this could be involving an ex. I did feel a feeling of rushing. So maybe you were with an ex that you rushed in a connection with. And you guys, it fell apart. There's children involved. And then you guys decide to give it a go. And you're really getting to know each other. You know, that's not for everyone. Some of you, someone else has hurt you in the past. And the universe is telling you, we know that you're hurt, but this new person is not going to hurt you. It's a blessing in disguise. Or this person once upon a time did hurt you. Sorry, my legs are hurting from they're getting numbed up. And now they're learning from it. They're taking the time out now to listen to their heart and listen to what you got to say. Because they don't want to hurt you. Because they treasure you. Because... They're wanting to show compassion. So whatever the negative situation that you have in your mind or whatever negative situation that was going on between y'all before, before y'all decided to get to know each other, it's being cleared up. And there, this connection is a blessing in disguise. Awesome. So what is currently going on for you guys that is good and what's coming up? transformation and the two of cups so some of you this is dealing with an ex okay some of you you and this ex had a relationship y'all rushed it for whatever right reasons it didn't work out you guys broke up then you realize you know what we're still in love you guys are taking your time rebuilding the connection and now you're trying to rebuild it right or this is what's coming in and two of cups energy is coming in here and it's clearing away the negative energy. And now it's a blessing in disguise. You guys needed to go through this breakup to understand how much you love each other. And you're realizing this love flows. It's smooth now. Or maybe you're in a relationship. You guys had an argument. Maybe you went away for a couple of days and came back. Or you are actually just met. And you're getting to know this person after a bad breakup. And this person is going to help you restore your faith back in love and help clear negative energy. You guys are going to go into a spiritual union. This connection will continue to grow. And it's growing on a good, firm foundation. And it's flowing beautifully. So will you guys be together? It says, nope, not now. Y'all need time apart. Discover yourself first. Healing is needed. So again, I told you. I feel like right now you guys are not going to be in an official relationship because you guys need to get to know each other. This is the time for you to need to get to know each other so the negative energy can clear. So do you have a future together? Yes, but you are not together right now and you don't need to be because there's some healing that needs to go on from the negative energy, negative thoughts, past energy or whatever that's going on between you guys before. So again, I'm going to reiterate this. If you guys were in a relationship, you broke up, now you're back together, or you guys are being friends, or you come back together just communicating, you guys are getting to know each other while wow, there's some healing going on between your connection. If you just met, you guys are not going to be together right at the second, you're just getting to know each other until the healing process is done, clearing away this negative energy. So this is a blessing in disguise. Don't worry about it, guys. You guys are going to grow into a good union. It is going slow and flowingly, almost like planting a seed, like the the ace of pentacles. And they say the pentacles is slow. Well, it needs water in order to grow. So right now you're in the watering stage in the sun. You're making it grow into this beautiful tree. And a tree that is rooted deep cannot die. All right? So let it go slow take your time if you and this person is rekindling the connection take your time it's not going anywhere it's a tree trees don't die they rest in the winter and they regrow that's the same thing with connections the same way spirit works our bodies die but our soul lives on so i'm going to move on to pile seven i hope that resonates 
All right, so Pile 7 people, last but not least, for real, for real, how you guys doing? My Pile 7 people. Awesome sauce. Do you and this person have a future together? Do y'all have a future? Do you have a future together? Do y'all have a future together? Seven, seven, seven. Lucky number seven. Do y'all have a future together? Oh, I don't know. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety. Some weird energy. Um, some negative. It's a lot of emotions going on here, guys. In pile seven, I can feel it already. Because I am low-key empathic, I have a lot of spiritual gifts. I'm empathic, clear audio, clairvoyant. I do have a bit of a mediumship. I just don't really tap into it much. So, we all have psychic abilities in different areas. Some is just higher more than others. And in this particular reading... In all my pick a card readings and readings, my empathicness tends to heighten at times. But I wouldn't say I'm all the way empathic. I'm not in a room full of people just feeling their energy all the time. So I think my strongest one, the one that dominates me all the time, is my clear audio. That's why I'm able to write these messages. I hear things. And it's like, a, I don't know, only only you would understand if you were psychic. So if you're watching this and you're psychic, you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially if you have a clear audio gift. If you don't have that energy, then you would not know what I'm speaking of. Do I have enough? I need a little one. You would not know what I'm speaking of. And see, what I'm talking about is hearing that small, still voice that's telling you something. And... It's like, it's talking to your soul, but it's not a particular voice. It's not a woman's voice. It's not a male voice. It's a voice, and it's a feeling, and it sometimes sounds like your voice, but it's not your voice, and it's just crazy. So, that's what I tend to feel. But with you guys, there's just so much different emotions. A lot of it is a lot of sadness. I feel like this is someone you really love or love or you have a lot of anxiety and you're afraid. So let's go ahead and take a chop at it, Seven. They won't let go. You don't have to be scared. I'm taking my time. One day you will be all mine. So this person, you guys are at a phase where this person is not trying to let go. So you might be wanting to let this connection go or you don't want to let go. And there's some form of holding on between the both of you. Like both of you are just holding on or one person is holding on and, and there's a persistence here. So let's see how you feel. Be willing to express, be willing to express love Physical touch is important. Let's see how they feel. Choose love. Okay. So, I feel like it's, it's you. You don't want to let go of this person. I don't feel like they want to let you go either, but it's in a different way. It's like you're always constantly thinking about them. I wouldn't say obsessing over them, but maybe you are. It's like you think about them a lot. You want to touch them. You want them to touch you. You're just ready to show them love. I'm just ready to show you. I can love you. Look, let me tell you something. If you allow me to love you, it's like you're just antsy. If you allow me to love you, I have what you, I, you need. And let me tell you something about that, what I find. I've seen, like I've, I've dealt with giving all types of people advice about their love life. I've watched my love life fail. I've watched my love life grow. I've been every type of female to a man, to, to people, period, under the sun. I've been a wife, I've been a girlfriend, homie lover friend, 
I've been an unknown, not knowing, willingly knowing side chick. Unwillingly knowing. That means I didn't know. Um, and I'm telling you, and I've heard all kinds of walks of stories of life. And one thing that I, I know for sure, and this is for those of you who pick pile seven, that energy of feeling like, hey, I can love you. I got what you need. You need me. If you only give me a chance because you need my love. But see, that's how you feel. Not saying that that is not true. That is how you feel. And see, everybody express love differently. It's called the five languages of love. There's five ways people receive love. And there's five ways people give love. And what you might think you can give them, what you think they need, may not always necessarily be what they want or need. And so that is the tricky gamble of love. Everything's a gamble and love is definitely a gamble. So I feel like you want to physically touch this person, you want to love them, you want to give them all your love. However, this person here is sitting back debating if they should be in a relationship with you. They're in a reflective mode. So you might hear from them. They might come and go. There might be a silence between you. Some of them, some of you, this person's in a relationship with someone else. And they're not knowing if they should choose you or choose the other person. They should stop this because you might be in a third party with this person. So I am feeling some third party energy and they might want to say, I need to stop it. But no, I can't stop it with them. You know, and it's like, again, you both are feeling like you want to let go, but you don't. I don't feel like you want to let go at all, Pop 7. But this person is debating, should I let go? Should I hold on? Especially those that are dealing with a third party here. See that woman behind the mountain? Her eyes are closed. She's reflecting. And she's seeing all these pictures. See these two couples right here? I feel like if you're dealing with a third party energy, that's them and the other person. Some of them are married. They have children. There's family grown. And they've known this person for a long time. And they're saying, should I risk it all for this person? I feel like this person has feelings for you too. So it's not that they don't have feelings for you. It's just that this person to them is a wife or a family or I maybe mean, they have children together because I see children playing around here. For some of you, this is third party. This person has someone else. Or maybe it's you and another person. And this person they know for a long time or this person and them hang around the same group of people. There's history here. There's some type of solid bond or connection between them or something that keeps them connected. Maybe they have children together or a child and they're sitting here in their head and they're thinking, I love you. I wanna be with you. Should I risk this all? Should I risk our family? Should I risk the children? Should I risk my child? Should I risk the friendship? Should I risk what we have for this other person? Because I know how they feel about me. I know how I feel about them. But this too is important to me. I feel like they love this other person too. And it's a different level and a different way of loving because they have some type of bond or history versus yours might be newer or it's more, there's no ties, there's no children. Um, might be, but I don't see that. There's there's no marriage. There's but there's a lot of love and physical attraction between the both of you. So there's a lot of romance between the both of you, and there's love between the both of you. But it's not solid like this here. And if they haven't known each other for a long time, there's a kid involved, or friends, mutual friends. But there's something where. They're constantly around their circle. So it's like breaking up with them is like they would have to face the whole situation just to be with you. Um, and they're not sure if they're ready for that. They're not sure if they're ready to break up this happy home <coughs> or disappoint the kids. 
to be in something that's less solid or doesn't have an obligation for them to be in there. So they do care for you. They do love you. They do have feelings for you or they do like you or they do want to be with you. I feel like the energy you're feeling right here, this physical touch, I feel like this is both of you wanting this. Both want to physically touch each other. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. But they're not making any moves because they're trying to make a choice between you and someone else. And while you're saying, hey, pick me, pick me, pick me, I'm willing to love you. It's much more complicated than what you think. In other words, it's complicated for them. They just can't get up and pick you because there's something that's holding them there. For not everybody, some of them, like I said, there's love there. It's just not passionate love. It's love. You know, it's family, it's you're my baby mom, you're my baby dad, you're my wife, you're my husband. But damn it, I'm in love with you, I'm drop dead, I can't live without you. That energy is not there. How they feel about you, I have a lot of love for you, a lot of passion. I love to be around you, you make me happy. Like that's the energy that's with them. You're like a fantasy. It's not sexual either, It's it's like a... I'm trying to describe it the best way I can. It's like they love the connection between y'all, but it's like risking it all for this situation. Or they might be dealing with somebody that, you know, they live with or somebody they just can't walk away from like that because it will ruin a lot of stuff for them. So there's much more that this situation offers them besides love. They might be living with this person. They might be living off this person. This person might be taking care of them. They might have a whole family union. They might, their families might know each other, you know, so they might have to face and hear and gossip. It's like a lot. They know if they walk away from this person, they're going to have to walk away from the whole thing. They're going to lose a lot just to be with you. And it's a risk they have to take, but they have to be sure they want to take it. In the meanwhile, they're wanting to physically touch you. They miss you. So it's not only just you feeling this way. They miss you too as well. And you're wanting to express your love to them, but you can't because 